fantasy because this to me is fantasy and it's giving me fantasy Everyone's so perfect and so neat. Hey everybody and welcome to the doll circle and I don't know if I'm gonna be filming this in black or white so it might be black or white it might be in color we'll see how it looks with my makeup but thank you so much to MGA for sending me one of the new dolls from the Shadow High series for free to share with all of you I am so excited Oh, oh, okay, so a new line in the continuation of the Rainbow High series. It is very exciting. I literally cannot tell you how excited I am. I am just so ready for this series. So they sent me this beautiful box with a little moon on it because, you know, it's I was gonna say the dark side of the moon, but that's actually an album. It's a really good album. But like <laughs> the opposite of a rainbow, you know, is dark. So here we have a moon box so let's get into it i am so excited to show you this doll now there are more than one in the series there are six different dolls coming out for the shadow eye series the packaging here looks so cute i like the little bougie stickers it says shadow on it oh my gosh i love it i cannot wait I just like how they're taking Rainbow High, which is a line that we've only had out for a few years, and really growing it so much, like into what we have now, where there's so many dolls. I think there's over like 60 some dolls or whatever. 60 dolls? 60 dolls? I don't know, a lot of dolls and products in the first what two years and now we're coming with this alternate variation it's like almost like another dimension in this like i'm just so excited <sighs> sorry let's open the box da -da -da. oh yes the doll is there but before i show you the doll though yes i'm gonna make you wait even longer we're going to look into what else they sent me i feel like so official like i have a little like secret envelope I'm official, you guys. Official. <laughs> so they sent me Natasha Zima's card, grade year one, 2022 and 2023. So she has her little ID card, little school ID. So cute. I love it. It's official. And they also sent me this, which I'm so excited to put this up in my doll room. Hashtag Team Shadow High. Ah, and then we finally get to see images here of the first six characters in the Shadow High realm, world, realm, world era. Yes. Oh, so excited. Obviously, I'm dressed up like her. And this is not an exact look. I always try to tell people, like, I do inspired by looks that are easily done at the thrift store. Like, this dress was from the thrift store. This is a Santa outfit that I cut up. And then I bought a wig on Amazon. So, with a little bit of makeup and some safety pinning in thrift stores, you can make anything possible. <laughs> so like I said, this is the poster for Team Shadow High. They did send me this beautiful official letter as well. Uh, thank you so much. It says congratulations to get this and I am, thank you so much for sending me this. I love being a part of new doll launches. So this is the Shadow High administrations sent me this. So thank you. And then in the bottom of the package, there is this and it's soft. Ooh. <gasps> I actually have not unfolded it. I waited. I waited. I was like, I gotta wait for the video to do it in official. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Okay, wait, show you, show you. Shadow, and I love that it's like in a triangle, like, I don't know, I was gonna say prism, but I know that's not the right word to use. <gasps> I love this. And see, if I was wearing this around, obviously people would be like, Shadow, what is that? But for those of us that do know what this is, that's pretty cool that I got this shirt. Like, I love that. I love that like, it's almost like a what is like a secret club or something that's what it reminds me of with the shirt i feel like i'm a part of a secret little organization club and it's like we're shadow high and we're like oh, love this i love this am i gonna like shadow high more than i like rainbow high <gasps> i don't know am i am i gonna oh my gosh there's so many emotions am i gonna like shadow high more than i like rainbow high i don't know i don't know i don't know <gasps> but i love this shirt though very soft very soft i will definitely be wearing this i'll definitely wear it when i have to because you know me i always say i'm like oh i like this one doll i'm only gonna get one from the series and then i end up buying the whole entire series well when i review the rest of them i'll wear this shirt for sure okay <sighs> all right so we have the poster we have the shirt but i know why all of you are here watching me right now for this doll this is natasha i'm gonna say her, natasha zima natasha zima I'm hopefully saying that correctly. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Natasha Zima. It has the packaging like we've seen from the original series because they have had a little bit of box changes, I feel like, going into different waves like Pacific Coast and stuff and the Slumber Party series. So it's like we're going through different looks, right? So with this boxing, box packaging, it's going to be more similar to what we have for the originals. I think she is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Like she reminds me of like 
a ghost, but in a good way because I like horror movies and I like spooky things. For me, this is definitely giving me ghost vibes. Everything is very white and crazy. Like, it's just something I don't, I would never expect a doll series to do something like this. You know, you always think of dolls being like colorful or like, you know, having got the elements but still looking realistic. But to me, something about it where it looks almost unrealistic makes it stand out so much more. And then we have the extra outfit and shoes on the side. And then on the back of the box has six characters, which are the ones going to Shadow High. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like the ones I'm really excited for, I love this character because on Instagram they had AirPods in it on his ears. I need that. I just want the AirPods, honestly. If it actually does come with AirPods, I'm gonna flip out. Like I want that one the most. She's stunning. She's. St they're all stunning. They're all stunning. I don't know, they're all stunning. It's so, Oh, but I do like how they sent me this one now because I was wondering, I was like, okay, they're gonna send me one. I wonder what they're gonna send me. And I can definitely see the, as Claudina says, like the 20s inspired flapper type of style and the glitzy glamour. And obviously me coming back from a background of like performance and belly dancing and dancing in general, I can see why they picked this one for me. So good job, Shadow High Team. I can't, I was gonna say Rainbow High Team. Shadow High Team for sending me this. Like, oh, I'm so excited. But if you look at the packaging, Everything says Shadow High where we would normally see Rainbow High, right? So on the side of the packaging, we see Shadow High here in that iridescent look. And then we see it in the back in silver Shadow High there. <gasps> it still says, let your true color shine, which I wonder, because I was thinking about it, I was watching one of Melissa's videos from my world and she was saying how like, is that new, their new slogan? Because I remember before I was like, collect the rainbow. So I really think that's interesting. This is let your true color shine. And like, they're the opposite. They're like, not, no colors. They're like the white and black and like gray scale tone. So I'm like, that's kind of funny that it's on the box, but I like it nonetheless. And then going around the front of the packaging has all of the six characters as well. The back, let me read it to you, says Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. Now, I don't know. I wonder, are they going to be, I, I don't want them to be like angry characters. I want them to be like the, like, I don't know, just like, artistic characters, but in a different sense, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, I don't want them to be like the mean character, like, like the, like the Torali from Monster High type of thing. I don't want them to be like that. I just want them to be darker elements, but still a positive influence. I know that, I don't know, am I trying to, am I making it sound like, I just want them to be happy? Cause I don't know, like one thing, again, I was talking to Melissa about it, it's like, I want characters that have darker Gothic elements, not only to be seen as like the mean characters, because growing up, like I was, all my closet is still pretty much black, you know? And it's like, I don't want anyone to think like have that correlation of like, okay, someone dresses in dark colors or like a gothier element to be a mean character. So I hope they're not all mean. That's like my one hope is that they're not all mean. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's just like a rival school, like how they have like two opposing teams. I'm hoping it's more like that. Now, Natasha does have her focus. Her focus is cosmetic chemistry cosmetic chemistry. So instead of just being cosmetic focused where she does makeup, she's like the making of the makeup. I like that. I like that it's something different. Hmm, hmm. I'm excited to get her out. She kind of reminds me almost of like minty, like the mint colored doll from series three, a little bit. All right, so enough of the package. Let's get her out of the package. <laughs> All right, so I cut stuff out of the box. I want to show you the bo back of, I was gonna say the box of the backing. The back of the box does have that new look to it, that like broken TV, to me it reminds me of like a broken TV screen kind of thing. So instead of what we've used to seeing with a bright rainbow background, here I have some like old packaging I'm gonna show you here. So this is from the Rainbow High Junior series and see how the box has that rainbow pattern to it? This one has the, as I call it, the broken TV screen pattern to it. So the boxes are different, even though they're again in the same like universe kind of setting. So they have that separation that they are from different schools. Now in the comb, I'm gonna try to take pictures in case they can show up on here, but see here, it says, can you see there's a tiny SH for shadow high instead of our normal combs that say RH for rainbow high. So that subtle little difference in there, but that still to me takes time. Just like the stand is in a clear with silver glitter in it, but right on the front, ever so small, I don't know if it'll pick it up, probably not. It says SH in a circle here. So where we would normally see RH, we're seeing SH because again, shadow high. Now going into the accessories, we're used to them in these little side packages, but the plastic pops off. This time they're different, the cardboard slides open on the sides, so it's different packaging. 
I just thought that was, I know, I know it's something so subtle and again, it's the packaging and look, the box slides out so you can put the shoes back and then slide it back and still save the packaging. I like that because I do save these boxes and that's where I put all of my accessories for all the Rainbow High stuff. But I, I like that you can, again, it was easy to take out. It wasn't a ton of glue tape or anything like how we're used to ripping stuff out of the box. To me, I like that a lot better. Here are her boots. They're supposed to be like the wrinkly, saggy style boot there, but it is knee high. I like it. Now there is a ton of glitter on it and it is a softer, as you can see, a softer, squishier material. I think they're really pretty. I feel like there's something that, I mean, I would even wear it. I really like it. <laughs> I like them. They're really cute. And the glitter, wow. The glitter comes off very, you know, when you get stuff and like dolls have like chunky glitter and the glitter goes everywhere and you're like, oh my gosh, why do I have this? Cause there's glitter now everywhere, all over my clothes, all over the floor. No, this stays on there really good. I like that a lot. This is really cute. And it's like, oh, it's not rubber. <gasps> it's fabric. That's fabric material. Oh my gosh. This is not rubber. The top part, the, the bottom of the part of the boot is plastic. It's fabric. It's a hard, see how I'm pushing it? It's a harder fabric with the glitter glue on it. It's not rubber. It's fabric. That is so cool. That is a great detail. Yes, 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 yes. Tens across the board so far for the shoes. That is fabric. Wow. Okay. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Let's see. Let's take the outfit. We're doing backwards now. We're doing the outfits, the shoes, and we'll do that all last, which normally I do it the other way around, but whatever. We're doing something different today. All right. Fabric. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, details. Yes. Okay. Look at this. I'm going to leave it in here so I can show it to you close up and it's nice and laid out. Look at the detail of this fur coat. Look at the detail of the bodice and skirt set. Like it's not printed on. Do you see this? Can you hear that? It's actual beading on there and beading going down the jacket. This fur feels so nice. And then when you open it up, let me cut it so you can see it. So on the inside, see how you have the fur and the beading down here? Watch, satin, satin. Look, hello, hello, D. Tail. I mean, this is just so pretty. I love that this is all embroidered on. So it looks like you have beads, but it's it's actually in the fur lining there or for outside. The lining is just this beautiful satin and it feels so soft. And then look at the beadwork on the skirt and look at the top. I love it. It looks almost bridal, like Snow Queen bridal, but like this is like her outfit that she goes to walk in the car in after she gets married, you know? Like, I just, I love this. Like, this is just, I can see, oh, I don't know. It's just so bougie, so beautiful. And I think it goes really well with the boots because the boots are that fabric material. Let me put them together here. Like, the, this alone to me is worth $30 because it's fabric boots, which again, I thought was worth the fabric. The lining on the jacket, the bead work, that, like, it just looks so pretty. I cannot tell you. So this alone is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, where to get into this doll? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know where to start. Okay, we're gonna start with the hair. The hair is white. It is very white. It reminds me of like Snow Queen. Uh, you see, I think I'm ice skating. I feel like I look like an ice skater right now. Um, <laughs> a little bit like an ice skater. Like, look at her hair. Oh, she has a lot. So I know a lot of Rainbow High Junior High dolls were getting kind of thinly rooted. And I was like, oh no, if they're thinly rooted, is the future dolls gonna be thinly rooted? No. She is not. She has a half up hair style with a crimped look going through it. And it's thick. It's really thick. There is some product in it in the front to kind of keep the crimps in, but the back is pretty soft. Like I said, it's just mainly in the front has a little bit of product in it, but she does have a half up on the front style to her hair. And going into this face, it is so different so unique because she's all one color. It's so crazy looking, but I love it. At the same time, she does have a little bit of color to the cheeks. See that? She's like a little kissed with rose, all like very subtle rose blush, but very soft. I love the white and silver liner here. The gray eyebrows go with her and the big, the black really makes her eyes like you like it just pops out. I can't even describe to you like how unique this look is. I love the gradient lip which I attempted to do. If you were watching the live stream, me getting ready, it was a moment. Uh, I don't know, something about the face is so different. Her earrings are beautiful. It says S and H for shadow high and has a little pearl accenting to it. The earrings are stunning. Look at the side profile here. Let me get out of there so you can see it. Just really pretty. I cannot get over. Now going into the dress though, it's a little unique. It's giving me a little bit of flapper moment, a little 1920s. Um, stone square emerald cut in the middle, that I like. The bow 
and then the feathers, and then the back has a bow to match. The fabric is hard. It's a sat hard satin material with a little bit of silver glitter dripping down it and then feathers at the bottom. I'm not, I, the feathers, I don't know, the feathers kind of lose me a little bit. The feathers feel a little, I don't know. I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I don't know if I would have preferred to have like a fur trim on it, but then that would have looked too much like a Christmas doll. But I don't know, like the feathers are, I don't know how I'm vibing with it. I, I like, I liked it. And then I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like it now that I have her out of the box. But then I'm like looking at it, I'm like, I can see where they're going with it. Cause she is supposed to be glamor, uh, you know, old school kind of look. And I know that they had that style, but I, I, something about also, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe if it was a different kind of feather. So I don't know how I feel about the feather. I'm gonna stop talking about the feathers. <laughs> but I do like the bow in the back with the emerald stone and the emerald stone in the front, the emerald cut stone. I, it, it still gives me, the, I can still see the storyline that they're trying to put through with this outfit. I personally, I like this outfit 10 times better. This outfit I like a lot and the quality in this outfit looks so much better in my opinion than this outfit does. Now going into her shoes, she has little slip on, little slip ons. I like their big heels, little slip ons. Um, they are plastic and they have emerald cut stones in it to match the top of the dress. So here's a side profile of the shoe, platinum, silver, metal, and then the front, let me see if I can get a focusing here. The front has the emerald cut stones to it. I like the shoes. I like the shoes. I feel like these shoes are realistic. I would wear them, but they still are really glam. I like the emerald cut stone that ties in with the top of the dress. I like the shoes. Now they don't have articulated ankles, unfortunately. They have the articulation in the knees, of course, where they can do this, where I don't know why she would be doing that in this outfit. She has the articulation in the elbows, the wrists, obviously the pivoting head, which I love for doll photography moments. She does have the pivoting head where she can look down and look up. And then I like that she has this little bracelet. I would have liked to see more accessories, like a necklace of some sort, but she does not have a necklace. So I'm wearing my big rhinestone necklace to make up for it. She does have this little tiny, let me see if I can get a focusing, little bitty bracelet. And she does have pointed nails in white. So it kind of blends into her hand, but she does have pointed nails as well. I mean, I, something about them is so different with this gradient look gray. Even her eyes, there's like a hint of, here, let me do another close up for the eyeballs. She has like a hint, see the tiny hint of blue? So there's a little bit of color, the hint of blue there and the hint of the rouge on the cheeks, but that's it though. This doll is literally black and white. I mean, it is just so different, unique, something that I would not, I would only see this in a collector's piece. Like if we go back into doll history a little bit, you know, they have done solid color dolls before. I mean, this isn't completely revolutionary, but it is for a play line in my opinion. I feel like we've seen high-end collector dolls, Halloween things, goth dolls, things like that, but those tend to be in a higher price point and they tend to be in something that we don't see every day. For this price point, which is like in the 30s dollar range, I'm gonna be in line, I'm telling you right now, because I want the rest of them. I definitely like the male presenting doll. If he comes with those AirPods, I really need it. The rest of them are gonna be so, I don't know, I just wanna put them all together to see that gradient scale. I really like these. I think they're totally different. Um, like I said, I normally would see something like this in a higher end collector dolls. I've seen ball jersey dolls where they're solid white or solid black or solid colors like that. And it almost gives us this weird fantasy play in the dolls. I love it. I love it. I'm happy with it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, she reminds me, I don't know why I think of an ice skater. I don't know, that or Alice in Wonderland. I don't know where I'm going with this. Throw in the comments though. Let's discuss, is this, is this interesting? <laughs> Do we think it's going, like, I think, unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna work for a, the average parent buying the doll. I feel like this is gonna be the collectors buying this doll just because she is so different, so unique. And with all of them on the shelf, I feel like they're going to be so weird. So unless maybe someone's watching, like a kid's watching the show with the parents and going, oh my gosh, I really need the Shadow High dolls. I feel like this is going to be definitely a big seller for the collector world because the bodies are so different. And these colors of skin tones we don't normally see because this to me is fantasy and it's giving me fantasy in all sorts of ways, which again, I cannot get over how much I love this outfit and the fabric shoes is like everything. Uh, I just, I don't know, I'm really excited to see where it's gonna go. So let's break out in the discussions. What do you think's gonna happen with Shadow High? I'm ready for it. I am so excited. I would have liked for them to have more 
gothier elements. Um, I feel like they are going with more of the safer route with where they're going like modern fashion or glam fashion and just putting them in the gray, gray black and type of scale. But I still think it's really different. I'm really excited about it. And you know me, I'm going to buy them all. So uh, <laughs> thank you so much to Shadow High. I was going to say about the Shadow High team and MGA for sending me this doll for free today to share with all of you. I can't wait to wear the shirt. I can't wait to review the rest of them. Shadow High dolls are going to be available for pre-order April 11th and then on shelves April 25th. They're going to be available at all major retailers, including Amazon, Target, and Walmart. All dolls will be released at the same time. I'm going to pre-order them. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to pre-order them and I can't wait to get them. Wherever they are, I'm going to be there. That's for sure. And she's ready to go to school. She's got her little ID card. She's like, I'm ready to go. Let's go to Shadow High. <laughs> I hope they don't, they're not mean characters. That's my only thing. It's like, I hope they're not mean characters on the show. I don't know. All right. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and I'm going to be trying to post some TikToks with this doll as well. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun and I can't get over. I love her earrings, the little rhinestone earrings. Oh, all right. Thanks for watching everybody. And until next video. Make sure to check out more content for me in the description below. Bye!